Very good. 22 verse 6. It tells us what to do. It is a very popular verse. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And he should, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go. And then when he grows up, he cannot depart from it. Hallelujah. Now, the way the train, we know what is train now. Eh? We know the vehicle called the train that has engine and has many coaches and move in a specific direction. That is exactly the definition of the word the train. The word train means, it means to restrict. It means to guide. It means, it means uh, to discipline. Hallelujah. The word train means what? To restrict. I want you to get that word, restrict. Say it. It also means to discipline. Say it. To discipline. And to guide. That is the word train. You see that vehicle. The engine disciplines the coaches. The engine, the head. Where the head goes is where the coaches go. And they go in a restricted area. They have rail. That is exactly what the Bible is saying. That you should train up a child. Give him a train. Give him a direction. Give that child a direction. Give him discipline. Restrict him. Now listen, look at the problem. The problem is that the principle of God is quite opposite the principle we are running in our society these days. The Bible is talking about the restriction. The Bible is talking about the discipline. But the society is talking about allowing the child to do anything he desires. And we don't care. That's where we miss it. Amen? The moment you give back to a child, listen to me. All these young women and men that have children, talking children, and you think that they are all children. They are not. The Bible tells us, train up a child. The moment a child is born, that is the time you begin the training. Amen? You might say that this person is a child. That person is not. Don't think that it is a child. At that age, one to five age. Eh? From the first year to the fifth year. Some of us, we neglect it. But you see, science doesn't neglect it. You see, the Reverend Sisters, far, far back, I mean the Catholic uh, nuns, they had been making that statement, give me a child before the age of five. And after five, I will tell you what the child will be. They made that statement, people thought that they were joking until it was scientifically proved. From the age one, the first year of your child, start training that child until the fifth year. Where well, the child is within this range, that is the time that that child can be hypnotized. Amen? <laughs> that is the age they are hypnotized. That is the age that their brain captures everything like a photography. It doesn't, it doesn't have, the child does not have the uh, wisdom to judge. So everything sinks inside of him. And those things that sink inside of him now become the foundation. Now, when the child grows above that age and begins to think and begins to judge, do you understand? It will now be judging based on the pre-existing information that had been kept there when he didn't know that the, the information was there. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? That is why you take your child to pray nursery and they, they will be speaking English there. The moment the child starts speaking, he will start speaking English. Why? Because... While they were still talking and the child was watching and listening, the whole vocabulary, we are being dumped inside that child, although she cannot talk. That's exactly what happened. The same way, pornography can be dumped inside a child at the age of one to five. The same way, all the evil words, you stupid man, idiot, nonsense, can be dumped inside a child, age one to five. And after that time, whatever thing you are now putting in again, the child has already acquired the, the, the what? Eh? The ROM. The what? The ROM. In computer language. It has already acquired an instruction to judge. Amen? And anything that is not based on that instruction, the child will reject it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
Therefore, if you are still having a baby, take care of that child. That is where I differ from my wife. <laughs> Mrs. Zifama Emmanuel will not always believe me on that. I used to tell her, no child is a child in my memory. Amen? Thank God she has started understanding what I'm saying. Because I knew what happened when I was at the age of four. At four, I was in primary one. And I can tell you everything that happened then. I can tell you how at the end of the session, I still came back to the class. My father took me to primary two. I said, you have finished this one. I can tell you what happened then. Now, if at primary four, I'm still remembering. In short, when I was making mention of this, a woman told me that, 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 that I was even up to four. That when he, she was being... Uh, uh, I don't know whether she's working or not at that age, but they were still carrying her. Do you understand? As a child. And she was still on napkin. When the mother gave her to the uncle, and the uncle was doing some immoral act, the child, that woman told me she recognized that. It is still in her brain. At that age, the child was not talking. But the whole thing like photography entered into the brain to be interpreted later. Can you now see where we begin to miss it? One man has confessed openly in social media. He said, my mother taught me immorality. My mother taught me what? Immorality. And uh, he said that when he was young and the mom opened everything, that the father was warning him, warning her, you are corrupting your child. And the mom will say, hey, will, will he rape me? Will he rape me? He will not rape you, but he will rape another person. He will not rape you, but the instruction is in the brain. The picture is in the brain. The everything is in the brain. In short, you have turned yourself to be what? A pono. Believe it or not. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And the child will act on that. And that's why the Bible says, train, restrict. Start restricting your children now. Any successful, success, uh, uh, successful child is a product of restriction. Because when a child is a child, he doesn't know, he doesn't have the sense of judgment to know that this is right or wrong. He doesn't know how to cross the road. You must restrict him from going to the road. He doesn't know how to stay at the veranda up. Otherwise, he will climb and fall. And he will die. He doesn't have that kind of judgment. He doesn't know what he's watching on television. But everything is entering. Whether he understands this or not, the brain captures it like a photography. You hearing what I'm saying? Child of God, we must now be careful. This is where we begin to fail. By the time they grow up a bit, unfortunately, they enter into another stage. And that is the stage of um, uh, when they become teenage. That is 13, by 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All those teen, 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 we call it teen age. At that time, if you have not put anything before 13, <laughs> you have lost the child forever. It is only the grace of God that can recover that child. Because at that time, the judgment will no more be in your hand. You know, there are three judgmental stages in life. Number one, when you were a child, your parents were the basis for your judgment. If you sweep the house and your father said, wow, that's lovely, my child, you got it right, and you'll be happy, based on your father's judgment. But at teen age, the judgment goes into the hand of uh, colleagues. That is a peer group. A woman said to me, man of God, I took my daughter to main market on nature to buy cloth. We moved around the whole market and they came back not purchasing any single cloth. And I said to her, it's a lie. How can you go through the whole market without seeing a cloth to buy? Oh, two on nature. Oh, more now, the possible. Why the same nigga? Not the possible. The woman said that all the cloths that the daughter pointed at that he, she should buy, she said to her, over my dead body will you wear this cloth in my house. And in the ones that the mother wanted to buy, the girl said, I will never wear such mbeke clothes. 
And at the end, they came back without buying a single cloth. The reason is because the judgment is no more in the hand of the parents. The child is now seeing through the peer group. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mbang. Oh, if you want boy, he have fun with akiri. He have fun with akiri. He lazy bakwa. Don't understand. He lazy bakwa. Boy, pota. One boy have pota. See, hey, ne. Okay, okay, ne befa. Onye go nege nonsense. Hey. Oh, we let's be the megan. Nah. Ye see anya. Praise the Lord. Oh, we let's be the nah. Ye see anya. Now. It is 100% unfortunate. I want to talk to every youth here. Girls, listen to me. Young boys, listen to me. Teenagers, listen to me. It is quite unfortunate that you are basing your judgment from, you are deriving your wisdom and judgment from immaturity. That your peer group, that your friend is not mature enough to control your life. He has not seen the dry season and the rainy season. He has not seen the night of the world and the day. He has not seen anything in life. Unfortunately, that is the time you are supposed to be attached to your parents. In Jewish custom, at the 12, a child moves away. A male child moves away from the mother and he gets attached to the father. That is how it's supposed to be. It is at that time that if your father knows how to, uh, uh, knows much about Proverbs, if you are staying closer, the whole thing will fizzle into you. It will distill into your life. But unfortunately, it is at that time that the father becomes Oko man. The mother becomes Oko miss. And that is how they miss everything. A man once said, six years ago, my father was not intelligent. But today, I do not know how he came to learn everything he knows. The truth is that six years ago, he could not understand the wisdom of the father. But six years later, he grew to maturity and was able to know how intelligent his father was then. So it is unfortunate that you are missing out. And that is why between one and the twelve, you keep on giving them values, norms, judgments. You keep on giving them commandments. You keep on restricting them. This is the right thing. This is the wrong thing. This is how to eat. You don't talk while you are eating. Stop talking when you are eating. They will grow with it. You don't wear this kind of cloth. You don't wear this kind of film. Anytime you are watching television and you see immorality, do what? Run! It is at that time. You may think it's not working. It's working. The whole thing is packed inside of him. By the time the value, by the time he grows up, those things will begin to raise their head in his life. He will now begin to judge between what the friends are saying and what the parents have already put inside of him. Amen? Get If Because, now by 13 to 19, Hello. Oh, God, I'm going to go. Oh, God, I'm going to go. If you don't know what before that age, he means to get. They will tell them, Ah, how can your mother be ordering you around? Are you, are you, my mommy? Are you, my daddy? Can't you stand on your own? Don't you have brain? I beg, I don't like, I, I don't like this kind of person self. What do you tell me? Now your mama, they tell you everything you know. Do you not get sense? By the time they start saying this kind of thing, the child will now drift towards them. And the child will now abandon the parents and miss a whole lot of knowledge that they're supposed to acquire from their parents. They will miss their father's business. They will miss the mother's intelligence, the mother's wisdom, the mother's knowledge, understanding. He will miss it. Knowledge about marriage, he will miss it. She will miss it. Knowledge about cooking, Knowledge about dressing, color, rioting, and the things like that. She will miss it. Only to come back to understand in the future years, by the grace of God, that she has missed a lot. So it is time to bridge the gap. It's time to do what? So how do we do it? Number one, understand that age one to five is very crucial 
in the life of any child. The first five years, if I tell you it is more important than anything you think in the life of a child. More important. Take care of that age. Say our Lord's prayer to her hearing, to that child's hearing. Make sure that child is there when you are praying. Read books. Do everything that, anything you want that child to grow with, put it inside that person. Amen? He or she may not understand what you are doing, but it is already recorded in the brain. Number two, by the time the child grows, add the values. God said, I will not hide this thing from Abraham because I know he will command his children. Commandment is restriction. Do this and don't do that. If you do not give your, your child proper restriction, when he, grow up, when he grows up, he will not obey rules. See, see kilometer per hour. He will not even see it, let alone obeying it. Greet the elders. He will not. Because he grew up from false freedom. Every child needs freedom. But the Bible is saying restrict. Training is about what? Restricting. Training is about disciplining. What is discipline? Wake up 5 a.m. Everybody must wake up. Go to bed at 9 p.m. Everybody must go to bed 9 p.m. That is discipline. Read your book. You must read it. Don't worry. Amen. No child desires that. Let me tell you, when we were growing up, we thought that our father was the, the, the most wicked man on earth. Papa, all right. the whole village, you don't come to our house. Hey! Who is that person making a noise? Come on, get out. Go to your home. I'm taking my siesta. That is my father's language. In the evening, you come. No more siesta. Hey! What are you doing here? Go and help your parents. Go, 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 go home. Go and help your mother and cook. We don't cross. We have no gate, you. But you don't go to the road. You cannot depart from that house and enter the road. And any day he is not there. Ah, area scatter. All the children will gather. Everybody, go to the bedroom, go to the parlor, go to the kitchen. Before they come back, everywhere completely scattered. But the moment he enters, pim, like okay, all of them disappear. <laughs> and the way you manage, the only day he used to allow us is 24th December and the 25th December. By 26th December, you are going to farm. 26th in a jubo. Hello? Now, within those two days, we cross over to that side. Wow, we enjoy it so much. And you see, we were just living alone, surrounded by bush. But when you cross over to that side, that is a hamlet. Look at the house, look at the house, building, building, building. All those children were gathered together. Do you understand the thing now? But do you know, I'm the only graduate in their midst. Do you know, almost all of them, none of them went to secondary school, let alone being a university student. Do you know, almost all of them, are totally nothing today. One of them was the man, the one that we used to call Papa. You know, in those days, we pray Papa, Mama. The Papa, Papa will command the children to beat you if you honor. When I'm coming back from school, they used to stop me, beat me. In the evening, my father will carry me by hand and go to the houses and they want their mother. That will not stop them from beating me another day because I'm not in their camp. The Papa today. He's a vulcanizer. Vulcanizer. Restrict your child. Let them not enter the other camp and the borrow words and the strange language and the strange character. Restrict your child so that any new language from his lips can be traceable. Any new cloth on his body can be traceable. Restrict your child so that any cover in his hand must be accountable. Restrict your child on television and phone. Do not allow them to carry those things around. You are introducing them to the wide world. They will waste away. And before you know it, it will be all late. Hallelujah. One of the ways 
to do that is to instruct to do what instruct you must give instruction and supervise it hallelujah you must give instruction and do what they will not like to do it but that is where rod r-o-d comes in where rod does what the bible says spare the rod and the spoil the child the bible says he who loves he who does what who loves his child will correct him with the rod but he who hates the child will allow him to do all sorts of nonsense now let's read those things from the bible look at um 22 proverb 22 verse uh, verse 15 foolishness is bound in the heart of a child so you don't need your child even to travel anywhere to get foolishness it is already there growing up with him but look at what the bible says but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him do you know i have a very wonderful recipe for all these evil children so long as they are within 19 down you know what i used to do when you bring the child and say oh no jury i say no problem now today i go kill him you carry the child put it on the ground gather four men five men give them cane all of you one two three go the thing will be raining on the child some of them will burst into speaking in tongues some of them will i thought then i knew the whole organ we open everything we do boom come out to us after that after such scenario even in the dream if that child sees such a thing in the dream he will shout and wake up no child will like to pass through that experience twice your problem is you don't use the rod that is why when teachers became your children in school you fight even to the home of that teacher do you know your name brutum pafus Proverbs 13, verse 24. Proverbs 13, verse 24. Watch what the Bible says. He that spared his rod, hated his son. Come on, somebody say hatred. But he that loveth him, chastened him by times. Ephelia? He who spares his rod, hates his son. But he who loves him, disciplines diligently and he punishes him early early there is time for that a time will come you cannot give him rod again a time will come you cannot even raise your voice on that child again beat him now he will not die amen i said do what beat him he will not die he will not die proverbs 23 13 and 14 with hold no correction from the child for if thou beatest him with the rod he shall not die oh bible clear but you will not use your hand you use what can use rod well italy that's not what i clear use italy because foolishness is in the heart of every child beat your child he will not die will not die no bible are you wiser than god are you more intelligent than god it is an instruction it's a command this is the command of god the Bible says, Be that child, he will not die. Verse 14 Thou shalt beat him with the rod. No buraka. Thou shalt beat him with the what? The rod. 
and shall deliver his soul from hell. When you beat your child, you deliver the child from hell. Otherwise, your child is entering hell from this world. Seven times, seven times. A time we come here, we surrender. Man, I do that early. Away from where we do that what early. A time we come when you use cane, he will restrict you. At that time, it is no more early. Hallelujah. God has given us instruction that we must obey. Proverbs 19 verse 18. 19, 18. Trusting your son while there is hope. And let not your soul spare for his crying. Don't listen to the crying. Trusting your son while there is what? Hope. And then, do not allow the crying to deceive you. Nobody says it is easy. Because the way like he will tell if you love him, beat him. If you love him, do what? Beat him. And if he cries, don't look at the tears. Remove your eyes from it. And do that early when that child is still a child. By 13, it is becoming late. By 19, it is becoming more late. By 20, you cannot even try it in this modern age. Amen? So, if you have any morality, if you have any... No more Stop showing your children bad examples. They will copy those things. Listen, if I don't know again, you know now, only that lagging a dodger because he was sense of prison. Man, I want to go to another day. I can't go to a dodger. If only love for near a man is about again, Delilah. On Gibbo Delilah love for why. So there are things you will intentionally do. You don't have to correct your children. Intentionality is now needed. Intentionally go to a bathroom. Two minutes, come out from that bathroom. Intentionally dress up. Five minutes, you have finished everything you are applying on your body. Intentionally dress very neat and decent. Intentionally read your Bible. Read when the children are, I mean, uh, read during the family prayer time and read when you are alone. Let them see you. Let them have something to say. When mama was alive. When papa was alive. Papa used to tell me. What are you telling your child today? What is your child learning from you now? These things are very important. Hallelujah. Finally, I want to caution our youth. I want to caution every child here. This is not a time to follow the world. This is not a time to follow evil. Let me tell you one thing about evil. The Bible said that there are many paths that lead to what? That seem good. Man, I look at the problem. The problem is that there are many paths that lead to what? All of a sudden, that is why you, you, you parents, check how many people from your class, I mean from your class, when you are in primary six, check how many of them that are still alive. Check how many of them that are still succeeding. Everybody here, if you are up to the age of 30, check how many people that succeeded 20 years ago. Check how many of them that are still on success. Many have vanished. So the problem is that when the thing, like Esau said in Psalm 73, Esau said, I my feet nearly slipped off the ground. 
when I look unto the prosperity of the wicked. In Avonia, Joe, Mumona, Gani River, he generally the best. And he now said, until David said, I turned back. And lo and behold, I could not see him again. And then he said, they are destined to sudden destruction. The problem is that you cannot judge from a spot. You judge with time. In history, we say, history of Nigeria from 1975 to 1980. You cannot have history at a moment. It is over a period of time. So at the moment, they will be prospering. At the moment, they will be doing well. At the moment, they will be riding great cars. At the moment, they will build the houses and hotels. At the moment, they will be sharing money and throwing it up in the air. At the moment, they will be dressing very neat and intimidating you. But what will happen 10 years' time? We are not afraid of the yahoos. Do you know why? Some years back, it was ritual money. It was Oboni. We survived Oboni. We survived Amok. Yahoo has not reigned as Oboni reigned in this land. Everybody was afraid of them. They were so rich, they were displaying themselves almost like God. But what happens today? They themselves are finished up. Their children till today are still looking for deliverance. How can you be a witch? How can you gather calamity for yourself and for your children and children, children to the fourth generation? Are you not a witch? Ofonya na 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 mi fe ife wa dibia, eh? Kampo. Owe sim no ne me nyakwa do si onwe like this. Naga. Nyana nyana kali ya funda kubia. Nyana nyana ke bu nyafunda kubia. Nyana me gine nyana ga. Nyato a bottle aka bottle a bolie. Ato bo ebi ne nyato lo. Nsi agun oke. Agun oke. Gente, life is not about a bower bottle and the tole ebi ne. That's not life. It's not very far a problem. Now the problem of bon, Jane and then the DBA Kalaka, Blue Goose or Bia Noa, Manafa Mugo, Jane and Ebefa, Notaka Begi at the very soon. I said, eh, it's not a film by you. Jane and then Bende Dibia, name me fine, mena, Manaham and no gay. Jane and then, eh, oh, top and I befa the boat to Begi at the very soon. Two years, they might be about how can I yell a luna? I won't hold down myself. Oh, now yell a luna. So, no, but I hey, 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 that is not the thing. The thing is, after I hey, 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 what happens after I hey, 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 Ebuneji say jog, what happens after Ebuneji say jog? At the time a village is a job, it looks glorious. It is full of temptation. Everybody wants to join. They display such glory. The way they did their job, the man loved it so much. And when the, the man was moving out, they said, We want to join you. So that you carry us to the main road, we get to this and go away. The man said, Okay, enter. Now, but I need low. You know what this man did? The man stopped the car and said, Come, you boys, I love the way you displayed your work. Let me ask you a question. When we were throwing up money in the air, did you catch anyone? They said, Yes, Oga. Okay. He said, Bring all of them. They brought all of them and the man poured them inside the gutter and opened his boot. The remaining bag of money poured it also inside the gutter and said that is not money it is wind spirit even they are worshiping fame they are worshippers of wealth Mammon, they will soon crumble. I'm not saying that the children of God should enter into the realm of wealth. Wealth and riches belong to God. They are your possession. But God has foundation for everything. So I beg every child of God here. I beg every student. I beg every youth. I beg every girl. I beg every man. 
desist from evil because you can never go free. Check history. Francis Bacon says history makes me wise. Check history. What happened to evil men will soon happen to you. You see that strong man? A time will come. His home will become a bush. People will be making mention of him. Sometime back, 20, 30 years ago, there used to be a man by name also J.B. Wan. Today, he is no more. Unfortunately, Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 says, God will pull them out from the ground like a tree. And they will cut the shoot. And they cut the root. And they burn the stump. And that's exactly what happens. Such people, you look for their children, nowhere. Children, children, nowhere. Their blood, anywhere in the world, nowhere. God has actually terminated their blood from the earth. You are suffering from laziness. You are suffering from idiosyncrasy. You are suffering from lack of knowledge. Get into knowledge and you see that the money making is cheap. I have discovered that men, all these men that have money on earth, the richest man, the second richest, the third until the tenth richest men on earth, they are all intelligent people. They have one product or the other, which they discovered. They were not after money. They we are there solving problems. Elon Musk, the richest so far, gave us electric car. Gave us a lot of products. What is your own product? Upon killing your mother and killing your father and the Yahoo, you only end up with zero comma. I beg a few people to know now. Nini ne bulu mama abu ada hawa ibu ogu nyefa we ru amu amu ne no kwanka me go expire. I don't think ne ngolo nye motra mwa. Chile ke we go zie mwa. One of the greatest problem na dere mwa ambo ifo ge mu ne nu papia. Oh i buka pu e buka buka oh i wule kata pila bu pu e bu pu call. Kiri one man is living a good table no mwa se no 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 ya travelo abo mputa mpuno. Let me tell you, no matter how you are celebrated, that your building is in Kutanku to your child. It will expire in the days of your children. Unless more commercial building, then the tenants can manage it. May the Lord have mercy on us. So in summary, child of God, go home and begin to take care of your child. Insist on restriction. The general key to what I have said here is instruction and uh, restriction. By the time they go into higher institutions, you will now give them direction. Someone say instruction. instruction. Then restriction. restriction. And then you give them direction. If you get many graduated without having direction. They are completely confused. But you see, Paul said to Timothy, my son, I discovered this thing is in your grandmother and now in your mother and now in you. Do not allow people to let you down. Stir up your gift. This is your gift. As a parent, study to know the gift of your children and direct them the way they should go. In your science, you put your work on in your phone. Man, you can't be a I have to get it in your so may God give you wisdom so that your effort will not be debased. May God give you wisdom to direct your children in such a way that godly children shall be your target and they will certainly prosper. God said that he brought you husband and wife to become husband and wife so that you have godly children. Malachi chapter 2 verse 15. And may this thing be your achievement on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Final warning to the mama. Era for long wagon. So fashion. Era for long wagon. So fashion. Need for really. 
EJ Mr. Bigs, EJ Nka. I've no life. EJ Party, I've no life. Mbeyelu. Mboya bo ene ganya. Asi no kwa mama nka na agba akuna. Mama nka ne baka sibu. Eno onye nka na ade nkereka. Were go nwe. Happy thousand, happy year kwa na azo mu ya. Asi no kwa nenu wanya. Ema, you better than one year, don't I, Mana? Ema, Ema, no more can one Ema, no football doctor, football engineer, football lawyer. Ema, no more can one Ema, no how I'm going to sell out the diocese away with the 50 million. No more can one year, can I walk back? Practical example, men, Okija. There is one man in Okija when I, I was there for, that, uh, from uh, Obahezike, that place where they have Obubuabo. I won't, I won't tell you the name of the man. That time, the masquerade will always stop the man from coming to church and he will be fighting with them always so one day during the okija synod i saw one boy i know from okija too and i said boy thank you very much you people have surprised us at least you gave us i think either 70 million or so from in that synod and i now said because we were able to get up to 70 million we will come again but this time around no more in St. Peter's uh, Archdeacon. We will come to your own Archdeacon. The boy at that point. Say, my name is Hodri Mada. Or say, unless I'm on my own for that man. I'm going to talk about the 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 man. I will be surprised. Because he gave all his effort worshipping God and serving God. He faced Ogugwabu persecution all alone. In those days, that they, they, they were about two or three coming to church from that angle. They were attacking the man. Today, he is a light in their home. God said, he will use your good works to remember your children, even to a thousand generations. Bend down and do this assignment. You will enjoy it. May we start. Stand up, stand up. We have five prayer points to pray. Place your hand on your womb. Say, my father, I'm sorry. I'm going back to train my children. But help me, O oh Lord, that your word may be fulfilled. The Bible said, Blessed shall be the fruit of my womb. The Bible said, My children shall be mighty upon the earth. Make it your prayer. Ask the Lord to forgive you, but to restore your children back to the promises of God. May I never have any child destined to misfortune. May we never have any child given to the devil. Make our children to be glorious. We need to have glorious children. Glorious daughters. Unique daughters. Unique men and women. Sons and daughters. Call your children's name. Boy half one by one. Boy half one more game. I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm going to say I'm going In the name of Jesus Christ. Now put your hand on your head. Say, oh Lord. Give me the discretion. The wisdom. The knowledge. The understanding. To train my children. Make it your prayer. Give me the knowledge. Give me the wisdom. Give me the discretion. To bring up my children to be glorious. In your kingdom. Give me the knowledge. Give him a wave of friend. It is a time the Lord will come over. We cannot do it alone. We can do all our best. But it takes the grace of God to bring out glorious children. Say, Father, release your grace upon my children. That they will become glorious in this age. They will never be children of the devil. Say, God forbid 
my child, a child from my bosom, being a product of for the devil. I cannot bear any child and give him to the devil. No, Lord, let your grace come. As for the grace of God that can bring the children and make them glorious in our generation. Our children shall become arrows. Arrows against the kingdom of the devil. Say, make my children to become arrows against the kingdom of darkness. We cannot have any child destined to misfortune. Famas on Andy Yahoo, Famas on Andori, Famas on Andapuna Puna. Hakun unto us, O Lord. We can only cry. We don't know what to do again. Bring them to us, O Lord. Bring them back. Bring them back to your kingdom, O Lord. We cry unto you. Pray against sudden death of your children. Pray against sudden death. Okay, I didn't mind that self was a child was not one. Pray. So then, why not? I got a man in one. Come up, mum, gain him. God said to Abraham, You will die at a good old age. In the name of Jesus Christ. What in Eke? What gamma make it in way BP? What gamma is I'm a mefe game in one Eke? Oh, Moga gave when I try good news. Father, we pray. We pray. We pray that you have mercy upon us. Father, earnestly, what is happening in our land is totally bringing us pain. It shows us that families have failed in children upbringing. And that is why, look at young youths. Look at what they are doing, the activities in the society. Bringing evil and the harm. Destruction in the day. They are no more hiding their faces. They are proud of what they are doing. But Lord, we pray that you shall stop them. We know it is our duty to stop them. You killed Eli for not stopping his children. Father, we have failed. Let your mercy be upon us. Let your grace come upon us. Help us, O oh God. Give us a remedial program. Father, remedy them. Bring them back to yourself. Give us restoration. Restore our children back to the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let me tell you, you can still do everything and it will seem not to be working. But God is still in charge. I raise my hand and I bless you. And I pray in this world, you will never regret serving God. David said, when he was a child and now he's old, He's never seen where the children of the righteous beg bread. I pray your children will never beg bread. Your children will never depart from the path of the Lord. May none of our children enter into hellfire. May we never have any child destined for the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. Bless your children. Bless your marriage. Bless your business. Bless your thinking. Bless your effort. So that at last you will be able to say indeed, my God is a good God. Today, what we have achieved by the grace of God is that our children shall become glorious children. The glory of the Lord shall surely be upon their lives. No doubt about it. Say thank you, Father. I know my children are glorious. They are all blessed. They shall be mighty on earth. Devil cannot stop them. They are unstoppable. The grace is upon them. 
the spirit of God is upon them. My father will never leave them, nor forsake them. He will listen to me. He will answer. He will be with them, wherever they are, whoever, whatever they are. He will be with them.